right, so here we are, ready to do the Grade 4 Mid-Module 5 Review Test. Um, just problems 1 and 2. So it says, using the same unit, draw and shade the following fractions. So the first thing we want to make sure we do is to draw and shade them. Next, we'll need to represent them as a sum of unit fractions. So I put the plus sign near the word sum so that we can remember that means to add. And I'm going to write one third next to unit fractions because a unit fraction means we have a one in the numerator, uh, the top number, and then for this example we're working with thirds so it'll be a three in the denominator. Okay? So now let's go to one. If we're going to draw it here we have our 1, has to be divided into thirds, then you need to shade. So I'm going to shade 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds. So when I want to write it as a sum of unit fractions, 1 equals 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third. I noticed a few kids forgot to put the plus signs in and lost points because of it. Because of it. So be careful of the plus signs. For our next one, where we have to draw four-thirds, we we'd start the same way. We draw one rectangle, separate it into thirds, get a different color to shade, and I shade in one-third. Two-thirds, three-thirds. Oh no, what do I do? How do I shade in four-thirds when I only have three of them? Well, you can just add on a little one-third right there, and then shade it in and that gives you four-thirds. To write that as a sum of unit fractions, we would write four-thirds equals one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third. Again, remember to write your plus signs. Now to do five-thirds, I start the same way. I make my one, I separate it into thirds, and I start shading. I get one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds shaded, but oh no, what am I going to do? I don't have another third to shade in. Well, we can just draw a whole another hole, an entire piece, cut that into thirds, and then I can keep shading until I get to five-thirds. So I had one, two, three-thirds, four-thirds, and that is five-thirds. To show five-thirds as a sum of unit fractions, we're going to write one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third. Do I have five of them? Let's check. We have one, two, three, four, five of them. That's what you do for number one, part A. Now we'll go on to part B. Part B asks us to record the decompositions by only using two add-ins. Well, actually, we much prefer this because using two add-ins just means what plus what equals what we're going for. So I'm going to do um, one-third plus two-thirds equals three-thirds, which equals one. And you can see that I used one add-end, two add-ends. Let's try it with four-thirds. So for four-thirds, I'll do two-thirds plus, how many more thirds would I need to get four-thirds? I would need two more. So two-thirds plus two-thirds equals four-thirds. And that follows the rules because I have one add-end, two add-ends. Can you think of another way I could use two add-ins to make four-thirds? Pause here. That's right. Another way to make four-thirds is I could do one-third plus three-thirds. And that uses one add-in, two add-ins, following the directions. Very nice. Part C says rewrite the equations from Part A. So I put the Part A equations in for us. Rewrite the equations from part A as the multiplication of a whole number by a unit fraction. So our unit fraction is still going to be one-third because that's what this problem is using. A whole number means you use like your first grade numbers, like 
one, two, three, those kinds of numbers. So looking at this part, how many times did I write one-third? That's right, we wrote one-third three times. So three times one-third equals three-thirds, which is one. That's what you do for part C. Let's look at four-thirds. What did I do here for four-thirds? How many times did I write four-thirds? That's right, I wrote it four times. What did I write four times? I wrote one-third four times. Four times one-third equals four-thirds. Excellent. Last one. How many times did I write one-third when I was trying to make five-thirds? That's right. I wrote it five times. What did I write five times? Five times one-third equals five-thirds. On this one, I think the important part is that you understand what the directions are asking because they don't give you an example. So you've got to know what to do by the directions. All right, now let's go look at number two. Number two, the biggest mistake people made was that they didn't, um, they didn't write down the fraction. They didn't identify the fraction. So let's make sure that you see that, that it says identify the fraction. So this is one-third but this is two-sixths, and then it says to continue the pattern. So I had one piece, then two pieces, so now I want three pieces. So it would be three out of nine pieces. And then we use a different color to shade. One, two, three, three-ninths are shaded. Part B says to show how one-third can be equal to two-sixths. So we write one-third again, we multiply. What can I multiply by to get two-sixths? That's right, two over two. Three times two is six, one times two is two, because two-sixths is equal to one-third. If you have questions, write them down and bring them to class. I'd be happy to help you. Hope this was helpful.